What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be doing some embroidery on some caps just like this and then we're going to be doing some embroidery on some beanies like that. So if you're interested in the step-by-step -step tutorial on how I did both of these right here, stay tuned. Alright, so we're going to start with hooping the caps. We're going to do this one first. I'm going to show you the way I do it, right? So you get one of these right here. This is your hooping station. Alright, and then on top of that, you get two of these cap rings or whatever. I think that's what this is called, the cap ring. You get two of these, right? So this piece right here goes up. This little notch right here is going to go right into that. So you're going to push it till you hear it click. And you got a click here, a click right here, and a click right here. So make sure all three of those are snug into place whenever you do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the cap on this. So this is how I do it. Right? right. So if the cap is bent like this, what I do is I straighten it out so that when I put it on here, it's not folded like that. Right. So right. So you're going to get the band and you're going to pull it out like that. This one is kind of thick on this cap, and what you want to do is you want to put it underneath this piece right here so we're going to, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing most caps will slide right under there without any problem like I said this one's kind of thick so we gotta work it we gotta work it in there all right so I got it in there did a little sawing motion got it into place you got this how you want it what you're gonna do now is you got this piece that is dangling down at the bottom, right? You're gonna grab this, and you see these teeth right here? Those, you're gonna get as close to this or right on this line as you can, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, bring this around. You see I'm getting it right across that right there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this onto this piece right here, all right? So, if this piece is too far up or too far down, there's a screw right here. All you got to do is loosen it, and then this thing will slide up and down to, so you can get it into position. So you see this little lip on this right here? There needs the hook on this line right here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to bring this down, hook it like that, just like that. You see this piece? You want to make sure that it's holding like that, right? And then when you got it into place, you clamp it in. And then we see our cap is nice and snug, just like that, right? And then we hit these three buttons again. It comes right off. All right, so here we are with the main menu on the MT-1501. The good thing about this is it comes with its own little display, and you can put the files on here without having to use your own personal computer, right? So cool thing about that. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to hit OK. All right, so there's our image. Come here to design. We're going to come down here to this one where the hoops are at, and we're going to make sure that we click our cap hoop, and then we're going to hit OK. All right, so if you look back here in the back, this basically looks like the capping station that we were using over there, right? So whenever it comes time to put the cap on, what you're going to do is you're going to put it sideways like this, this way. Or this way, whichever way you want to do it. And then once you get it there, you're going to rotate it up. And when you get it into place, what you don't want to do is now you don't want to shove this on. You're going to grab the back of this right here and push your hoop on just like this. And grab it, grab the back, make sure that they all clipped. So you're going to tap these right here. All three of them, remember there's one on this side and then there's one down here towards the bottom. You're going to tap them to make sure that they're not loose. If they're loose, go ahead and press it a little bit more to make sure that they do clip. Alright, so then if you look right here, you can see our crosshairs are in the middle of our image. So let's go back to the cap. Alright, so whenever you get ready to trace your image, it traces it off of needle number one all the time. So if I bring this down, you're going to see that my needle is off just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top in line with this needle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my arrow keys again and I'm going to line it up. Once I find the middle, 
I know that's where the middle of my image is going to be. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a trace. The trace is very important, especially when you're doing caps because you wanna avoid hitting this because if you hit this, you're gonna break a needle every single time, all right? So you wanna avoid that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down our needle and we're gonna hit this button right here that looks like a trace. All right, so as I'm holding down needle number one and as it's doing its thing, whenever it gets close to down here, if it gets too close, just lift it up so that you don't bend this presser foot. All right, so here we go. All right, so I was like right on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the cap back a little bit. Then I'm gonna do it again. And we are good right there. So for this cap, the customer wants us to match the color of the brim. So color number seven that we have, which is this one, right there is number seven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna hit number seven. All right, so someone asked me a really good question and they said that they see this a lot, that people don't program this to match their colors back there. Um, and I don't do it because if I were to change these colors and I'd have to come back in here and change it again. Um, there, they had another question and they asked, if they shut down the machine and turn it back on, do the, will these reset every single time? No, uh, once you program these um, the way you want it, they're not gonna default back to this every time you turn it off and turn it on, right? So, good question. Um, I just don't do it because I haven't had the need to do it, right? So, if you look here, number six is actually purple, but we're using number seven, which is this one right here and has the color purple inside of it. Whenever you're ready, just hit start. So that's it, that's our first one. Whenever it's done, you're gonna come in here and you're going to push those in and take it right out. All right, so here it is, I already cleaned it all up. There it is, looks like that. And then whenever you're done, you just come over here, release it, look at it, so there it is. All right, and then like I said, this comes with two of them, so I'm able to hoop another one while we're while this one was stitching so now I can do this one and get this one ready so when this one's done we could just keep on going uh, we only got four caps to do I've already done one of these and one of the purples um, so we have one of each left and then we got a bunch of beanies to do so let's go ahead and uh, keep keep it going So I just come in here and I clean up some of these threads that are loose. It happens with all of them. There it is. Wasn't too many of them. And then I go back in there with a lighter to make them tight. So just in case there's any loose ones in there, I just wanna go over it with the lighter a little bit. Again, this is how I do it. If you guys have other ways that you do it, please let me know. I'm still new to this. All right, so that looks good. All right, so these look good. These are the Flex Tech Caps 110. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send them a Richardson hat, Richardson 112, 
Um, these are really big in this area where I'm at. So I'm gonna do one of these. Um, and I'm probably gonna do black on black just to see how it looks. So let me go ahead and do this one. And while this one's stitching, I'm gonna start prepping these beanies over here. All right, so while that kept going, I'm gonna finish cleaning up the inside of these right here. Um, I think this is just the last one that I need. I just like to shorten up the thread so that they're not everywhere for the customer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this one ready. So when this cap is done, we can start. Uh, the Mighty Hoops, again, would be so much easier using these. They get the job done, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the, you get the beanie and you're gonna pull it inside out, okay? Just like that. Leave it facing, you can face it this way, however you wanna do it. Um, and then you're gonna take this one. And if I were to go all the way in with this, like this, our image isn't gonna fit because it's a, a round um, hoop, right? But if it had the square one, it would work. So I'm gonna leave it out just like that. I'm gonna grab my backing and I'm gonna put it in here. All right, so then when I got it in there, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this right here. This is the water soluble stabilizer. Um, what this does is it sits on top of this so that whenever it stitches, it will hold down these fibers. So pull out a piece, however big you need it, however big you want it, and then just cut it. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over it, just like that. So there's our crosshairs where we wanna stay in the center to stay with that. All right, and then we're gonna get it, keeping it lined up the best we can, and push it into place. And then you're just gonna grab this piece right here and you're going to turn it to tighten it up. All right, so there we go. We have that in there, it's in place. You can see our crosshairs in there, right there. That's what we're gonna line this up with, right? So let's go ahead take this cap out All right so the cap driver is held on by two screws one right here and then one on the other side so again this screwdriver whatever this is comes with the machine also so we got I got it loose now I'm gonna loosen it up all the way and then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna change this moving this all the way over and then once it moves over here's our other screw right here simply just get this loosen it and again unscrew it all right so you don't have to unscrew them all the way unscrew it just to loosen it unscrew it to loosen it and then grab it pull it right out all right so if you look back here there's a whole bunch of different spots you could put this on um being that i've been using it for a little bit i know it's this one and this one so we're gonna go ahead and put these on so it's one two three four five so it's five and seven where this thing would hook to just like that so this is for the hoop that I'm using. Obviously, if you were using a bigger hoop, you would come all the way out here. Um, if you guys saw the video where I did the tablecloth, we were actually way out here. Um, again, this comes with the machine. These come with the machine um, so that you can go ahead and tighten it up so it doesn't fall out while it's moving. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to hit one. So it'll slide back over. Right, same thing over here, put this on. All right, so then I'm gonna bring my beanie over, put it in, wait, listen for it to click. Once it clicks, you know you're good to go. All right, so here we are back at the display. Um, we have to change out this hoop right here, right? Because this is for a cap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here, we're gonna remove embroidery status, hit okay. Then we're gonna go to design set, we're gonna click that, and this is where we can pick our hoop, right? So we're gonna go right here where it says cap, and from here, every hoop has a letter on it. If you look right here, this one tells us the, the hoop letter, the size in millimeters, and the size in inches, right? So um, it's either going to be here or on the bigger hoops, it'll be somewhere around right here, right? So look for that. That's what size we're using right there. We're using the C hoop. So then we come right here to the C hoop and we click that, right? So whenever you're ready, you hit okay and this is where i was confused whenever i first started doing beanies i thought you had to flip this again ramon i appreciate you he told me just leave it as it is so whenever you're doing beanies leave your image as is do not mess with it right 
All right, so now that we have our image there, we're gonna go ahead and hit escape. We're going to lock it, and then we're gonna do our trace. Right, so whenever I do my trace, I wanna get close to the top, but not all the way to the top, um, because I want my image to be higher. I don't want it to be lower. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, hold down our presser foot. Remember, if it gets too close to this, make sure you lift it up. We're gonna hit trace. All right, so I want to go just a little bit higher. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Right there, we're going to trace it again. And then look at your crosshairs that you have on there. Make sure you have it centered. And then give it another trace. All right, so right there, we are good, all right? All right, so one other thing that Ramon had told me was whenever you get ready to do this, as this thing is moving around, it could come here and then get bunched up up there and um, get embroidered. So to avoid that, what he, so he said to grab this right here, tuck this part in there, and you're not gonna have that problem now because now nothing is gonna go underneath this or get caught up in there, all right? So we're good to go. We got our color. We are on color number 10. Same color as the bluish cap that we did. We're gonna hit okay. Once we're ready to go, we're gonna be doing about 700 stitches a minute. This one only has 6,000 stitches, so whenever you're ready, hit start. So like I said before, whenever it comes down to take this out, hold this right here, push up, pull it right out. Right, so we're going to take this off. Just like that. Then with this right here, take it off. And then we'll go in here and clean all this up. Same thing with this back here. Right, so there's our first one, how it looks. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and I'll clean all this out of here. I'm going to clean this up, clean all that up, the little stuff inside of there and inside of there. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some music on. I'm going to go ahead and show you some different clips of this stuff as I'm doing it. I took you through the process of one of them. If you guys have any questions down below of anything that I did, leave a comment down below. So let's go ahead and put some music on and get this going. <laughs>
right, so that's it. Here's what the hoodie came out like. The black on the yellow looks good. And then you guys saw the process whenever I did the caps. And then you guys saw the process whenever I did the beanies. Here's one of them here. And then again, here's the cap. All right, I just want to take you guys through the process on what I've learned so far with caps and beanies. So I want to say again, thanks to Ramon. He's been a really big help whenever it comes time to doing this stuff right here. All right, so remember, if you guys are interested in the MT-1501 or the MT-1010 or whatever else Rakoma carries, there is a link down below. Fill out your information and someone from Rakoma will get in touch with you and tell you how you can save a lot of money on these things with 0% interest. All right, so I'm out of here. Like I said, use social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, whatever else is out there to promote yourself. A lot of the work that you guys have been seeing me do with embroidery has come from social media by me promoting myself, all right? So you guys that are out there that are following me looking to do the same thing or you're doing the same thing, uh, promote yourself. Get, get on social media and share your content. It doesn't matter about the likes. It doesn't matter about the thumbs down. What matters is those views. What matters is them views. You get them views, that means people's watching. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Those views matter, right? So people are watching. Get out there, promote yourself, and good things will come. All right, so I'm out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thanks for watching this video. And until next time, keep pressing.